So in an effort to teach our kids and do a little homeschooling, what we've done is we actually have taken some of the stuff that we do day in and day out at our own office and try to take some of it home. So we're going to produce the next three videos that you'll see are going to be the anatomy, the bone structure, and what does that do? And I've got my lovely assistant, also my oldest daughter, Hello. Hello. and her name is Ellis, and she's going to teach you guys about the spine and what's going on with the spine and what does it do. So here's how we're going to do this, is I'm going to ask her what segments or what spots in the spine, and she's going to be able to call those out. I recommend for you to follow along. Ellis, what's this? Uh-huh. And what is inside of the skull? The brain. And what does the brain do? It controls everything in the body. Controls everything in the body. So when you see, does it control that part? Yes. What about when you smell? And when you taste? Yes. Yep. And what about when you hear? Yes. And what about when you touch? Yes. It controls everything in the body, doesn't it? Yes. Yep. And so what attaches to the brain and then lives inside of this? What's this thing called? This big, long stack of bones. What's that called? That's called the spine. The spine. And what lives inside the spine? The spinal cord. The spinal cord. And what does the spinal cord do? Um, you know. <laughs> I forgot. The spinal cord does, does it talk to everything in the body? It's how the brain talks to everything that happens. So if you move your legs, does the spinal cord have to use that to move your legs? Yes. Yep, because the nerves that come out of here, right, go to your legs. And the nerves that come out of here go to your arms. And the nerves that come out of here go to all your organs, right? Yeah. So let's break the spine down into the three spots that the spine is called, okay. right? What are the names for the three spots of the spine? It's okay, I know we just went over it. Ready? So the neck is called the what? Um, cervical. Cervical. Yep. And there's how many bones? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven. Perfect. There's seven bones in the neck. And that's called the what? That's called the cervical spine. The cervical spine. Okay. So this is called the mid-back, also known as the thoracic. Perfect. How many bones are in the thoracic spine? Ready? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. <laughs> There's twelve bones in the thoracic spine, right? Yeah. And what are these things? Those are the ribs. The ribs. And they protect all of your organs from getting hits so that they don't pop keep you safe, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Last part. Remember this one? Yeah. Low back rhymes with, or sounds like, um, lumbar. lumbar. And let's see how many lumbars there are, okay? I like to count from the bottom on the lumbar. So we go five, five. four, three, two, one. Perfect. And all of those control all the organs that go to your tummy and your, your intestines and they can go to the bathroom and they also control all of the muscles in your legs. Cool? cool. Last piece and I don't know if we talked about it yet. Mm -hmm. This is called the pelvis, pelvis and that's your hip bones that you feel, okay? Mm -hmm. This is what keeps you upright and walking and moving. So when you're running... And I can just sit down. Yep, and when you sit down. So that's these little bones right here that stick out. So that is all of the spine. Our next video will be the upper extremity and again the lower extremity. We will teach uh, the joints and the spine. I won't go, or uh, the joints and the extremities. I won't go through every single bone and bony attachment and all that fun jazz. But just a little something to offer to you and your kids as we start to teach our children anatomy. I thought it might be fun for you guys to see us too. Thanks again. Thanks, Ellis.